Hello, Nuggets. Um, so I haven't done a video log for a few days, uh, actually since before Christmas, um, but I have been Twitch streaming. And so I wanted to uh, do a little blog about it because I've just started it and I'm just, I'm kind of at this stage in my life, which I think probably, I'll take this thing off. Um, it's a bit chilly here in Los Angeles. I think a, a lot of people during the pandemic have probably felt like a reevaluation, right? Of what are we doing with our life? Particularly if you lost your job, right? You're forced into it. But just in general, that feeling of being home more, being with the people you love more, it gives you a different perspective than you most of us have had for a while. And so I'm looking for potentially a new career or at least some new avenues to explore. And I thought, I'm going to try Twitch streaming because I have no idea whether I'll like it or not. I'm a bit of an introvert, so a bit. I'm a lot of an introvert. So I, it doesn't seem to be a perfect fit for me, but I thought, fuck it, I'll give it a go. So I've been playing City Skylines, which is uh, like a city building game. And I've put them up. They're actually on my channel. So you'll see, I just finished doing another Twitch stream and I wanted to blog about it because something happened while I was doing it. So I've had no viewers, right? Because obviously no one knows who I am, right? You, I, I've had someone popped in and then left and that was it. Um, but then today someone came in and stayed and said a couple of things. We had like a little minor chat. Like he was from, he said his name was like Proud United fan. And I said, oh, you're a Manchester United fan, so am I. And uh, we just, a couple of little bits and backs and forwards. Uh, but what I noticed was I got nervous. I suddenly kind of got self-conscious while I was streaming because there was someone sitting there and, and waiting for me to respond. Hang on a sec. Had to let the dogs out. One of the dogs out. Um, so I got kind of nervous. Um, and I suddenly didn't feel myself. And I was, th I'm trying to figure out whether or not that is because I've never done this before. I've never Twitch streamed. Whether or not it's because I've barely interacted with anyone during for the last year as you know we've all experienced something like that or whether it's just my natural go-to state that I get like that thing is it wasn't a nice feeling it wasn't a good feeling this person dropped in they were a nice guy as far as I could tell but um it made me edgy <laughs> and I don't know whether this is something that's like is that the sign where you're like you know don't do twitch streaming I mean not that it would ever work out anyway who knows but the point is is this something you even put a bit more effort into right because uh, streaming right now on twitch is easy you literally just press a couple of buttons and you're online it's so simple to do as long as you have a webcam and a game you want to play or whatever you want to talk about um but if i want to get into it more in more depth i'm wondering if what happened today is a sign of you need to get through this and just keep streaming and maybe at some point you're going to get four or five people watching your live stream right how are you going to feel about that how are you going to manage it because i found myself playing the game like this and then my my um app my twitch app is over here so i'm kind of like looking and i'm, I'm seeing is he saying anything do i have to keep watching because i didn't notice his comment at first so then I'm thinking, okay, I need a different setup here and, and I should have like the Twitch, the screen should be here and the game should be here. And I'm stressing, I'm suddenly stressed and I'm not just playing the game. And I'm starting to talk more about what I'm gonna do or I'm suddenly aware that I haven't talked for a few minutes, I should talk. And it was a very uncomfortable feeling. And that's not what I wanna do with Twitch. Now, is that the way I am with Twitch? And that's just how I'm going to be. Or is that just something that you just get better at? You know, my instinct says better at. I'm sure most people would agree you just get better at it. But part of me thinks like, well, it's a little worrying. It was like, well, you know, do I just give up the Twitch thing? <laughs> you know, like I said, it's not going to go anywhere. It isn't that. It's just exploring new ways to express. And particularly because I'm an introvert and I don't call my friends and I don't do all that kind of stuff. There's a couple of people that I watch on YouTube and on Twitch in particular who seem very similar to me and Twitch really does appear to be their outlet, right? And like one of them is a guy called Loki Doki who's like, I love this guy, he's great, I never met him, but 
he's just a really nice guy and he talks very honestly and he's very natural on camera and he says he's an introvert and he doesn't go out much and yet he's got like i don't know 60,000 followers or something and a lot of people watch him and there's loads of people on his stream and he's a part of a community and it doesn't stress him out so i look at what he's doing and think i would like to do that i'd like to be like that guy so was today's interaction, was that something that happens to everyone when they first start Twitch? Or was that my personality doesn't fit with it? I don't know. I don't know, but um, I need to try something new. When this uh, lockdown eventually gets list lifted, and for anyone watching in England, fuck, man. <laughs> Seems like it's getting worse over there. Um, I don't know. What, what are you trying? I want to know if anyone else is trying something different, trying to break out of it. Because the idea of going back to a regular job working in an office, just, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. I'm a 50 year old man. I don't even know why I'm fucking Twitch streaming. Who wants to watch me? But I'm trying something, trying something. And then the other thing is that maybe I can be a live streamer, right? But actually it's not gaming. I shouldn't be doing that because my gaming is something I usually use to disappear. I don't play multiplayer games, very rarely. In fact, when I used to play MMOs, I used to play EverQuest, and I played World of Warcraft for a while, but I was a big EverQuest fan. When I played EverQuest, a massively multiplayer online RPG, I never grouped with anyone. I'm a voyeur. I would like to go into the world and know that there's thousands and thousands of people on that server playing, and I would never speak to any of them, but I would watch the chat. I would feel like I'm a part of a community. I'm the guy who sits, goes to the party and sits on the couch. And you're like, why the fuck does he come to a party if he's just going to sit on the couch? Well, because it makes them feel like they're a part of something. And they're introverted and shy. And I don't know if shy is a good word for me, but I'm not gregarious. It's tiring to me to talk to a lot of people. It's tiring to be outgoing. And maybe Twitch can solve that or maybe... It's not gaming. Maybe it's something else. I mean, people stream lots of things on Twitch. I cook a lot. You know, I'm trying to cut down on that, though, so that wouldn't be relevant. Um, I could do something about my dogs. I love my dogs, and I have wonderful dogs, and I have very smart dogs, one of them. <laughs> not that one. He's a little slow. Um, but my other one's whip smart, man, wicked smart. Um, so maybe that's what I Twitch. Maybe I stream something like that. You know, maybe I, I, I was going to say live stream about my dieting woes, but why the fuck would you tune into that live stream? I guess if it was an open forum conversation, maybe I could get people to come and join and say like, look, there's 20 people online right now. Let's talk about, it's almost like a, like an AA meeting, right? Or a Weight Watchers meeting or something. Maybe that's a way to do it because everyone's fucking fat these days. It's not just me. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um... Yeah, so I'm live streaming. I don't have a schedule yet. I don't have a Twitter account. I don't tell people where I'm going to live streaming, and I don't know how I would. How would I tell people? I'm, I guess I could go on Facebook, which I use once every two years. Um, I do have a Twitter account under this name, actually, which I think I've tweeted one thing in the last day. Yeah, and I tweeted it just because it happened to pop into my head because I was trying on a pair of pants and I felt fat again. Um, I mean, that's how I'd tell people I was going online. All right, I'm totally rambling. All right, you little nuggets. I'm still on the carnivore diet, by the way. It's going well-ish. <laughs>